guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tasha Nicole, and you are watching my life. So, today I am going to be dyeing my hair, or rather, tonight. It's actually about to be 1 or 2 in the morning. So, I am dyeing my hair black. In fact, this is Sapphire Black, and it's from the brand Color Old Time. I've never used this brand before when I dyed my hair, when I, when I used to dye my hair, but I have used stuff like L'Oreal Paris, I've used Garnier, I've used Revlon, and pretty much dyeing your hair with box dye is pretty much the same all around. Like really, it's just the same setup. I mean, you have one of these bottles, you have the color cream or the color um, thingy. So you got developer and then you have the color cream, regardless of how it comes. And then you have the conditioning treatment, which is pretty common. So I'm gonna put this in the shower real quick. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what I've done to my bathroom. This is what I've done. I have covered the sink with trash bags so I don't ruin my sink. And I have this mat or this little paint catcher thingy down on the floor so I don't ruin my floor. Let's put you back up there. And so basically I'm going to dye my hair and let's get started. So, okay, so let's get started. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out the gloves because I don't want to stain my hands. I also have a shower cap here, so I'm going to put my hair in a shower cap while I'm done. But really, I know what I'm doing when it comes to dyeing my hair. All I need to know is how long to leave it on. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let me see if I can unfold these gloves here. Okay, I got the gloves. I'm not gonna put those on just yet. I'm gonna mix the dye together first. So we're gonna just go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm so nervous. I haven't done this in years. Literally years. And now we transfer. I'm gonna squeeze it all in there. I think I got it all. I think I got all of it. Yeah, I got all of it. And now I'm gonna put the cap back on so it doesn't make a mess. Yeah, I think I got all of it. Put that back in the box. And now, one of my favorite parts, the shaking. I have been growing out my hair for about eight months now. And so my hair is pretty long. Like it's really, really long. Like I don't even think you can see it in the camera how long it is. But like, it's really long. And I'm hoping that this covers my whole hair, but I have really fine hair, so it should. Um, plus, I got a box of dye that shows a person with long hair. And so, and it shows on the back, um, if you have medium brown hair, then it's going to look like this. If you have dark brown or to black brown, it's going to be this. And if you have black hair, it's going to be super black when you're done. So I have like brown to dark black brown hair so that's pretty much what my hair looks like right now my hair is usually already dark up here so it's gonna be really black when I'm done um, I've always been into the emo vibe I black painted my nails black I just want to go back to being emo and being really dark and mysterious um, I was cute and pink and colorful for a while and I don't get me wrong I'll probably still be a part of that but like I really want to be kind of gothic I guess you could say but I am like I don't take into the whole religion of being gothic I don't know if there's a religion behind it or not some people that are gothic have this um, religion behind it um I don't I just dye my hair and I just wear black clothes because I like the white clothes and I like the um stuff I'm still gonna wear t-shirts in my videos. I'm still gonna look like I'm not even gothic. I'm just gonna like do my makeup a certain way, have black hair, and paint my nails black. Um, I've always had that kind of vibe, you know. But anyway, let's put these gloves on. Let's get the gloves on. Fits me perfectly. It makes me think of the movie Salt when she's painting her hair, when she's dyeing her hair black. Okay, and now we are going to find out how long we leave this on. How long we leave this on? This is not even English. Okay, um... Okay, it says 25 minutes. Okay, it says, um, it says allow the coloration mixture to work for 20 to 25 minutes. Apply the rest of the mixture to whole hair and allow 
it to work for five to 10 minutes. So we're basically gonna leave this on our hair for about 30 minutes to 35. Then um, it says, at the end of processing, apply warm water to hair and work into a lather, then rinse out thoroughly until water runs clear. Finally, shampoo your hair and rinse out thoroughly. I've never heard of shampooing your hair after dyeing it. Um, I've always just been told to condition my hair, but I use baby shampoo, so it's not gonna ruin it. It's not gonna make it a big deal. So we're just gonna leave this on for about 25 minutes and then to 35 minutes. Um, so let's get started. Now I'm gonna sip, snip this off real quick. Then I'm gonna get the, get, is this a cap? Oh, it unscrews! Okay, that's cool, it unscrews. I don't even know if y'all can see me. Let me turn my camera. I don't even know if y'all can see me. Like, that was like, but okay, let me see. We're gonna pull my hair into sections. I just go ahead and with it. I don't really care. I just go in with it. I don't even like section it off that much. I just do one small section at a time. But still, I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough. Oh god, it stinks. Oh. I'm getting little bits at a time. If this doesn't change my hair at all, I'm gonna be so pissed. It's not coloring my hair. I've never used this brand before, so I don't know if it's even gonna work or not. It costs like $9 at Walmart, so. Okay, I've completely covered it, so now I gotta do the roots and just get the roots as best I can. Cause I still have blonde in my hair. I still have a little bit of blonde. You can't really tell cause it's covered up by red and, and by um, black brown, but you can tell where I've bleached my hair in the past. Like you could totally tell. And just one small more dyed size amount on my on this strand hair. I'm using very little. Okay, now I'm gonna take another section of hair and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna start at the bottom now because my bottom is like the one. I can feel your energy all sitting down my spine. Oh, oh.
So I don't care if my ear gets dyed. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I can scrub it off in the shower. Man, I'm losing so much hair because my hair is just so not used to like. It was so healthy, and so it's like, ah, you're damaging us. Why? I'm like, I'm sorry. I want my hair to be black. Oh no, I'm running out of dye. I swear, cat, if you pull on this thing again. I'm gonna do this whole section as one because it's a small section. Quit it, kitty. I'm gonna use all the dye on my hair. Not, I'm not gonna waste any of it. If you dye your hair and you're still trying to grow your hair out, the way to avoid not damaging your hair as much, the next day, put coconut oil in your hair. Put coconut oil in your hair and leave it for like a, at least a few hours, if not all day. And I promise you, your hair will thank you because you need to nourish your hair. Or do a hair mask. If you don't like coconut oil, do a hair mask. And then, trying to make sure it's nice and flat. It looks like it's changing to a degree. Like I'm seeing small pieces of red that's not going away. I'm trying to get those real quick. It's really hard to cover up bleached hair. Once it's bleached, though, it can still show very easily. I think I did the bigger half already, so should have enough hair dye, should, for the other side that I'm about to start on right now. Yeah, I did the bigger half already. So, I don't care if my ear gets dyed, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I can scrub it off in the shower. Man, I'm losing so much hair because my hair is just so not used to like, it was so healthy, and so it's like, ah, you're damaging us, why? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I want my hair to be black. Oh no, I'm running out of dye. I swear, cat, if you pull on this thing again. I'm just gonna do this whole section as one, because it's a small section. I'm gonna use all the dye on my hair. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste any of it. If you dye your hair and you're still trying to grow your hair out, the way to avoid not damaging your hair as much, the next day, put coconut oil in your hair. Put coconut oil in your hair and leave it for like a, at least a few hours, if not all day. And I promise you, your hair will thank you because you need to nourish your hair. Or do a hair mask. If you don't like coconut oil, do a hair mask and pamper the crap out of your hair because you don't want to like, you don't want to like let any more damage occur after you damaged it enough. The root's really good. My hair is pretty healthy, so. I'm gonna use all the dye on my hair. Not, I'm not gonna waste any of it. If you dye your hair and you're still trying to grow your hair out, the way to avoid not damaging your hair as much, the next day, put coconut oil in your hair. Put coconut oil in your hair and leave it for like a, at least a few hours, if not all day. And I promise you, your hair will thank you because you need to nourish your hair. Or do a hair mask. If you don't like coconut oil, do a hair mask and pamper the crap out of your hair because you don't want to like, you don't want to like let any more damage occur after you damaged it enough.
looks really good. My hair is pretty healthy, so doing this is not going to be under too much. Because I hadn't dyed it in like over a year, over two years, so my hair, it's about been, it's about to be two years, not about two years. Some people like to buy the brushes from Sally's. I just use my hands. I feel like I do better with my hands. And now I'm going to dye my, the rest of my head. And now I'm going to get the back of my head. Oh shoot, like, hey then. I got some hair down on my mat. Thankfully, I have the mat on, and I hope it doesn't stain through. Um, it's a little. It's about a day later. I didn't record the rest of it last night after I finished my hair. I just wanted to do other things, and so it's the next day. And this is after a conditioning wash. Um, this is what it looks like. Doesn't look any different from last night. It came out looking really good. Um, basically. My hair is super long and super black now, so yeah, it's really soft, it's touchable and soft, and because I condition it, and so yeah, it just looks really, really dark now, that's all it looks like, so yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up to keep up with me, you can subscribe to my channel, or you can go ahead and check out my Twitch, which is now Tasha92Candy715, so go ahead and check that out, I'll leave the link in the description down below, I love you guys, peace.